Martha Gellhorn covered her first war, the Spanish Civil War, in 1936. She left America with a knapsack and $50. She covered Hitler's uh, invasion of Czechoslovakia, the attack on Finland. She covered every major war and conflict throughout her long life. When she died in 1998, she was heralded as one of the great war correspondents of her generation. When D-Day came, she had been accredited throughout her whole career. She was accredited to Collier's. When the word came out that D-Day was going to happen, her husband at that time, Ernest Hemingway, finally decided that he should come and cover the war. So although he could have been accredited by any magazine or newspaper in the country, he chose Collier's, which meant that Martha, because only one person could be accredited by Collier's, lost her accreditation. Undeterred, Martha Gellhorn, on the evening of the first day of D-Day, made her way to a hospital ship and told the officer that she was going to interview some nurses, which is how she got on board. Once on board, she hid herself, stowed away in the bathroom, and there she stayed until the ship got to uh, the Normandy beach. at which point she got out of the bathroom and just blended in with everyone else and went to the beach and helped carry wounded, helped stretchers, um, and wrote a dispatch about this really extraordinary adventure.